Hey guys, this is Siv. Welcome back to another episode of Echo Craft. We are back on the Echo Craft server and we are grinding away. Um, I've got a mending book from DC and now we've got our goody getter here. Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending, everything. It's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. So we are going to go on a big mining session. I did some mining in between episodes, but I want to get even more. So we are going down into the mines here and I'll catch you guys once it's over. You thought I was joking about how much I was going to grind? You were wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, look at this. Look at that. Uh, we got over, like, almost two and a half stacks of diamonds. Uh, an insane amount of redstone, coal, iron, everything like that. We've even got some more cooking up over here. Okay, let me take that, and we've got some more there. Let's chuck that in there. Distribute the wealth. Um, but anyway... <laughs> We got a lot of blocks as well, so we can use those for something else. What we're gonna do now is actually I'm gonna take that because uh, we need to one we need to head over to the shopping district and grab some stuff because I've heard that DC also has a bit of a shop there. He went end raiding already. Yes, he went end raiding in like the first two hours. Um, but I'm gonna go see because he has some cheap armor and stuff for sale over there as well as shulker boxes. And I forgot my diamonds. Let me go grab those. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna take like that. I think that should be plenty for what I'm gonna buy I'm not gonna buy too much anyway, so let's just head over there I gotta say I am really liking this vibe of the uh, the icebergs and stuff right around the shopping district And we have all agreed that we're not going to um, take down those icebergs or anything We're gonna leave those just for the aesthetic um, We'll g gather ice from somewhere else. There's a big ice spikes bi biome that I think uh, is near Rex place So we'll leave that up to um, those areas uh, okay, so it looks like all one diamond each. Everything in the chests. Oh, except for these? One set per two diamonds. Okay, so we can grab... Let's grab... Oh, I kind of just want to buy all of them, honestly. <laughs> um, well, let's see what we can get here. We got fire aspects, efficiency. No, no, no. Fire protection. Oh, these are curse of vanishing. Dang, man. Everything one P per diamond. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, mending for... Or mending four. That's right. I can talk, guys. Mending and protection four. Uh, looting. Now, looting. Looting would be nice um, because I want to get some wither skeleton skulls pretty soon. Uh, let's take that right there. Protection four. Unbreaking three. Might as well pop that on while we while we're waiting for some netherite and mending and stuff. Um, diamond horse armor. Uh, bah, bah, bah. You know what? Let's just grab. Probably three of these. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, and then we'll have enough for three shulker boxes that we can use just to transport some stuff. Um, and I'll see if I want anything else. I probably don't, actually. I kind of like that. And it's only one diamond. I'm going to take it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I think that is going to do it for now. I, I keep second-guessing myself because I kind of... I kind of want things, but at the same time, I don't, you know? Yeah, that's going to do it. So what we need to do is actually head back, and I really, really, really need to set up a nether portal. Also, I'm looking fly, man. Um, need to set up a nether portal so I can get around. We have all the stuff in the nether to get to the shopping district and everything, but I need to be able to get to my place quicker than I am right now because I've just been boating there every day. <laughs> so let's go get that sorted out. All right, now we can chuck in our shulker boxes here. Actually, I just realized that gives us six, not three. Well, dang. Uh, yeah. Did I mispay then? I need to go back and look at that because I think I might have... Did I underpay him? You guys let me know if I'm an idiot down in the comments. I don't, I don't think I mispaid him. But quite likely, I did. And you know what? I think I want to um, make all of these blue, actually. That kind of goes with my uh, my whole skin and my theme and everything. And, you know, I just, like, last in Survival Island Craft, or whatever you want to call it, I did not, um, like, ever die shulker boxes. And I kind of just, just feel like dying shulker boxes. So, you know what? Let's move all the stuff from down in the mine all the way up to here. Um, and then I will make sure I didn't pay DC incorrectly. Uh, well, my friends, uh, the next thing we're going to do is hook up our nether portal because we really, really need a nether portal. Um, so here we go. We've got this here, and I've taken the coordinates from right there. What we're going to do is add a, um, a bit of a uh, continuation of this 
parkour thing over to this part and we'll make this fancier and stuff but first I just want to hook up the nether portal so let's go into the nether I need to go find a portal maybe I'll just use the one at the shopping district and then we'll dig our way and figure out how to link these things up all right guys I think this should be it so I'm just setting up my nether portal here also I found some ancient debris just walking around so uh that's great what what am I doing um we got obsidian here, boom, boom, boom. Put some basalt there. Now what we need to do is just light this baby up. Um, and I'm a little worried, um, but I'm hoping, very much hoping that it's gonna work. So here we go. Let's, let's go through, see if it links up to our portal. Yes! It looks, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you, why? <laughs> Okay, let's, let's just go back through, make sure it actually linked up, um, because I'm really not sure. Yeah, okay, so it is linked up. Um, maybe I'll just need to... Uh, I guess I'll just need to m remove that one and uh, do my thing. Or maybe, you know what, maybe we can do this. Now let's break that, and then we'll light this one up, see if it links up to the same one, because it should... I think. Um, yeah, here we are. Okay, just make sure it works both ways. We'll go back through. Um, and yes, here we are. Perfect. It's all linked up. We're good. Now let's tear this one out. Here is where we are at. There's me just chilling out right over there. He's just having a good time staring at the, the stone. Um, but that, I think it looks pretty cool. So we've got like this kind of a divulging path over here to get to the nether portal. And I think it looks really good. Let's hop back into this guy's head and, and see what it looks like from first person. Anyway, I'm going to grab uh, what's in my inventory here, just these shulkers here. And we're going to head back into the nether and start gathering up a ton of blackstone. Now, while we're gathering up all this black stone, I need to watch that magma cube so it doesn't kill me. Uh, what we're going to be doing is also gathering up a bunch of magma blocks because I'm going to build a um, zombie piglin farm at some point. Um, and also, we're going to be collecting quartz because I want to make a quartz shop. And I also need to keep my pick up to uh, up to speed here. It has mending on it, of course. So we're just going to have to be careful that it doesn't break. And I think I'm just going to use quartz to repair it. And we get quartz along the way. So it's going to be a good deal. Now, <laughs> let's start on the grind. Oh, and by the way, my friends, I'm sorry, I still do not have replay mod working. Uh, I am building a PC, that some of you guys know that, um, especially the EchoCraft guys, because they helped me put it together. Um, I am working on that, so I will get that pretty soon set up, hopefully. Uh, but for now, it's still going to be first-person time lapses, at least for the moment, which kind of suck, I know. Um, but we've been doing them for a while, so I guess a little, little longer won't be much of a problem. And soon enough, we'll get that... Ah, we'll get that all sorted out, and then we can have some nice cinematic time lapses. You know, as I'm editing this, I realized I never told you guys what all the blackstone is for. Um, DC is paying me to gather him two shulker boxes full of blackstone, and then we're going to go meet up with him later and exchange that for some diamonds and probably some other goodies because he, he's a good payer. <laughs> Here we go. I'm giving DC two, two shulker boxes full of blackstone, and this is what he's given me. Oh yeah, I'll take that. And he even he offered the uh, the shulkers too. Thank you, DC. Now, as you guys can see, I'm back in my little home here in the tree. Um, but what I gathered up while I was getting all that blackstone for DC is this. So we've got tons and tons of magma blocks. And what I want to do is build up a gold farm on the roof of the Nether. I know it's only episode two, and that's the plan. Um, so basically, we need to get on top of the Nether. That's the first order of business here. Okay, guys, I'm back over at DC's because he's going to sell me an elytra. And what the heck? That is a dope nether portal. It's like the rock on sign, you know? Hello. Dude, your, oh. your nether portal is insane. <laughs> yeah. Rock on. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, look. Whenever I go through, right. yeah. you just, you just it fall out. right down. <laughs> nice. All and this right. one is for whenever you want to get back. So you take the other portal and then you come out of this one. So oh, okay. that's... Uh, yeah. The safe route. That was I was yeah. prepared this time. I thought about you guys. Just, just enough people out. dying. Sorry. Right, right, indeed. All right. So, what what was the thing? Okay, so I was getting an elytra with mending, and then <laughs> a lot of stuff. Yeah. Four stacks of gunpowder and uh, an ender chest. I think that was it, right? So, 
Part two. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, can you, can you do that again? What? <laughs> can you do that again? Sneeze and uh, sneeze some diamonds out. Uh, I can't actually. I. <laughs> clear, that would be wonderful, right? Like I. I too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Hey, you know, twenty-five diamonds. Nice. All right, you can keep the box. Oh, thank Enjoy, you. Uh, oh, very enjoy nice. the extra rockets. Uh, you can fly away. Thank you. And make sure not to die with that box. I'd recommend you put it in the inner chest. Actually, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just dump that in there. <laughs> I've All seen right. people coming to my place and go back and die way too often. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three already died twice, man. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's right. so brutal. See you, man. Yeah, have a good one. Anyway, guys, we're just headed back uh, through my portal here. We're just hanging out with DC. It was a good time. Uh, he's a cool guy. You should go check out his channel. Um, but anyway, I've built up this bit of a uh, bridge over here, which is going to take us all the way to where we're going to break the roof of the nether. Now, um, that is always a little bit difficult, um, but you have to be up at level 127, and it has to be, well, it doesn't have to be one block thick, but it is preferable that it's one block thick, so it's easier to break. So if we just come up here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you can see, I've cleared out a little bit of space here, um, but what I'm talking about is this little bit right up here. You see those right there? We're going to have to get up there a little bit here. Um, and I'll break through this bedrock right up here. Uh, it's, it's hard to get up here. What is it? Okay, there we go. Um, these three right here, those three bedrock, I'm going to break all three of those. And that's part of the reason I got the uh, the gunpowder. Any extra gunpowder I can use for rockets. But anyway, those are the three we're going to break right there because I'm going to build a Razeworks design that uses a piglin to barter, which does mean... I need to get a piglin up on the roof of the nether, and so I need to break three of those. I'm also going to need to get up there, but I need to get some stuff ready, get some TNT, trap doors, all that stuff. And also, the way I'm going to break the bedrock is a Ray's Works design, so go check that out as well. Link in the description. Alright guys, so I've taken down the coordinates of these things, which is very, very important to do when you're breaking bedrock. Um, but anyway, I'm going to come right over here. Um, we've got this spot right here, as you can see. Um, on the right there, it says targeted block, negative 603, 127, 21. Now that 127 is what you're looking for. So, um, I'm just going to break through the bedrock just right here, just a simple, classic way. I will include a link to the video on this uh, that I looked at when I was finding just a simple way to get through the bedrock. Um, so go down to the description, it'll have that there. Um, but anyway, we're going to just belly up right against this, and then chuck the ender pearl, and we're on top of the nether. Boom. Easy as that. <laughs> Alright, now so we've got all of our stuff here, and we need to break through this bedrock. Alright guys, so I figured out where exactly these blocks are that we need to blow up, so we're just going to start with the one, I guess, right here. So basically we're just going to need a piston, I believe, facing up, or maybe to the side, we'll just place that there so we know for now. And then I'll get this set up, and I'll show you guys how we're going to do this. Alright, before we do this, again, Ray's works. He's amazing. Just go sub to that man. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so here's what we've got going here. Uh, so we have two TNT here, two cobblestone, and one uh, piston right here. When we hit this lever, piston's going to extend, and these TNT are going to light. Now what we're trying to do is, I believe we're trying to get the blocks that are powering the piston to blow up before the piston actually does, and then that soon after. And what that is going to do is going to let us uh, just spam click another piston right into its place, Facing downward, we'll be facing down like this, and I'll be spam clicking on the side of that piston there. And it should, theoretically, break the bedrock, and then we can move on to the next one. So, uh, let's let's just do it. Okay, and up against this. Ah. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Now here's another man you go subscribe to. Oh, go subscribe. Another man you should go subscribe to because DC has helped me out so much in this episode. He's given me some enderpearls so I can go back up and get my stuff. You stupid! I'm taking my anger out on these magma cubes. All right, let's get back up here. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, here's my stuff. What did I do wrong? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I'm I just for the record 100% it's my fault I whatever I did it's my fault <laughs> uh, do not blame Ray's works he's brilliant um, it's probably just me being stupid so uh, let me figure this out okay we're gonna go ahead and try a slightly different technique uh, this is the block that we're gonna break right there um, this one seems a little less uh, <laughs> like 
uh, dangerous, you know, to myself, my person. So we're going to uh, place all this stuff in here. What we're going to do is bud power this right here, which is actually... Yeah, there we go. Now it's bud powered. And then we can get rid of this. So unless we give that an update, nothing is going to blow up. So if we do this, place our TNT just a little ways away... Uh, and I shouldn't die theoretically. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some. Oh crap! I'm running out of food. <laughs> I'm gonna eat something. Um, but it shouldn't. We'll put this one more away. It shouldn't blow those up. And we're gonna place some really low. What am I doing? <laughs> As I was saying, here we go. So we've got a trapdoor and everything. Once we light this, what we're gonna do is take a piston right here, and then we're gonna spam click, just shift clicking right here, spam click it facing down. So we're gonna try to place a block facing down there. And if it works, the bedrock should break. And this seems a little less dangerous since I'm farther away from the TNT. I'm hoping it's going to work, guys. Let's let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so TNT lit. Now, spam click. That might have worked. That might have worked. Here, let's see. Nope, nope. Okay, no work. But that's okay. Uh, I was kind of expecting that. Sometimes it does not work every time. So we're going to try it again, just right here. At least it didn't kill me. Didn't take, like, any damage that time. So let's give it another shot. Take three. <laughs> TNT. How much of an idiot am I? <laughs> I wasn't even holding on to the freaking pistons. All right, take number four. Here we go. Got that. Grab the uh, pistons here. Spam click. Did that work? I don't think it worked. It did not. <laughs> All right, and then we, again, we get rid of the bud power here. Uh, let's give it another shot. Okay, grab the pistons here. Press the button. Shift click up against here. Yes! I think that might have been it. Is that it? Yes! We did it! We deleted the bedrock. Okay, just two more to go. And now that I know how to do it, it should go pretty fast. And with that, my friends, we have broken three pieces of bedrock right here. And only died once. I'd say that's a pretty good track record. <laughs> so, uh, what we need to do next is start building up this gold farm. And then, uh, get our piglin in here. Um, this is gonna be a complete automatic auto bartering farm. And that is also a Razeworks design. So again, go check them out. Alright, so what we need to do now is get up to the level, which I believe is 243. So, let's <laughs> just start pillaring up. Alright guys, we do have the entire pillar up all the way. It didn't make it quite as high as it is in Ray's video, but I think that's going to be fine for me because there's a lot of um, netherrack under my feet, so I won't be getting many spawns down there anyway. So, I'm just placing in these ladders here, and then we'll start building up some of the redstone in the middle of this thing. And then really, the big bulk of this is just, like I said, bulk work. Alright guys, uh, it looks like everything's built up. We may have a little bit of a problem here if the pigmen come over and just fall right down here thinking that's okay. So we may have to do some troubleshooting there because uh, in his video Ray didn't have the uh, the bottom little platform thing that I have just down here for the redstone and everything. Um, so that's going to be a little bit different. And one other thing I need to get is a sticky piston. I just need one slime ball and then we can finish this thing up because currently it is... Uh, it is not set up with the uh, piston. It should be like right there. As you can see, that would be there. Um, but I just don't have any slime yet, so I'm going to have to go grind in some swamp or something or see if anybody else has one for sale that I can just buy off them. Um, but now the next thing we need to do is just start building up these massive magma block big things out in each corner here that are going to spawn the zombie pigmen. And my dudes, that completes the building of the bulk around the outside, the spawning platforms and everything. Those are in, and of course I'm using the blackstone bricks. Uh, Ray used smooth stone slabs in his video, but I just wanted to use these because they look fancy and we're in 1.16, and I love it. Uh, I also am using my Elytra now. It's got mending on it. It's beautiful. Uh, so we can zoom out and look at this. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> that actually looks really dope from the top. That's going to make a cool thumbnail. I need to take that picture eventually. Um, but really, guys, the one last thing we need to do is to get these guys 
out on these platforms here. Now we need to put one on each corner. Um, if you saw that, if we fly out here, so yeah, see there's one on each side. And that is because if you don't have a zombie pigman that is constantly aggro, then sometimes the new ones that spawn in will not be aggro toward you. So we need to have these guys out here who are aggro towards the player, um, causing the others to be aggro. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push one of these guys off, and <laughs> then we'll uh, get them into position, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, and now that we've got these guys just sitting there, the Jackson 4, if you saw that, um, I think it's pretty funny, whatever. <laughs> uh, the most important part right here, we need to get in this piglin into here somehow. Um, and that's going to be that's gonna be a little difficult. And I did realize something uh, during building up this whole thing. I did not have to break three pieces of bedrock. I could have just broken one. And, like, literally all I have to do is just, like, place some blocks up here, and eventually a piglin will spawn. And then I can just <laughs> keep it. Uh, I feel kind of dumb, but at the same time, whatever. It's nice to have three blocks open down there. It makes it feel more, more professional. Alright, I was actually able to get this guy to spawn up here. I just placed down some netherrack, and we, as you can see, we got a bit of a spiral to get him up there. Let's just name him really quick. <laughs> I like the name, uh, but let's let's get him onto that mine track and uh, get him into position. And away he goes. All right, guys, we've got our piglin in there. I've got him all set up in there, and it's a good good setup here. So he's just gonna chill there. Any uh, gold ingots that come through the system will go straight to him. We've also got our item sorters set up here. So we've got uh, gold nuggets right in there and some gold nuggets in that one. Um, so any other, like the gold swords and stuff, will be pushed off into this fire here. It's a really good system. Again, for the hundredth time, go check out Raiseworks. The man is amazing. Um, <laughs> and if you guys haven't seen it, go check out his Proto Sky series. It's like incredible. I love that thing, man. That's like one of my favorite series right now. All right, guys, I think it's time. It's time to give this thing a shot. Now, what I'm worried about is that they'll just kind of run down here. Um, hopefully not. I think that they'll realize this is the closest they can get to me. Come around this way, and the farm should be working. So, uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Alright, let's just take a bow here. Uh, oh, missed him. I'm a bad shot. There we go. Perfect. Please work. Okay. Okay, so they're all coming around. These are the guys I'm worried about, specifically. Oh, they're still going around. They're still going. They're falling in there. They're going. Okay, it's it's not running at the moment, but look at this. This guy must have picked up a, a zombified piglin head. It, it's still him. Like, I can come up to the top here and, and look down here. It's 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 still my man. And I can give him gold. He's, it's still a piglin. But... <laughs> <laughs> but that's just, that's, I, I think that's funny. Whatever. And here it is, a working, my friends. They keep marching in, they keep going in. It's it's pretty insane. I don't know why there's a trap door there. I should probably get rid of that. Um, but they're all flowing in. I had to make a little bit of an adjustment. I added some trap doors on the side here, if you can see that right here, just so they think that's a full block. Because I was having a little trouble with them not running in. But there's me, just chilling out right there. And this is a little bit insane, guys. Look at all these guys falling in there. It's pretty crazy. I'm probably getting some lag. But every time a gold ingot falls down, this guy, who has the zombified piglin head, he grabs it, he looks at it, and then he dumps his stuff right in here. If I can open this up. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. I've been AFK, AFK for maybe half an hour or less. Like, that is insane. And I could just leave this thing going, like, overnight or something. I'm gonna definitely have to expand the storage system though, but just look at this guys. This is Thank you Ray. Thank you. Yeah, this thing is a little bit insane guys But anyway, I think that's where we're gonna end the episode here I've done a lot of work on this thing um, So I really hope I can see you guys in the next one do make sure to come out for that. It's gonna be good um, But anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video do make sure to leave a like I'm gonna get it recommended to others so they can see it too And also if you haven't already do make sure to subscribe for more cool content just like this more tutorials anything like that guys and i hope to see you again very soon all right guys thanks for watching this has been civ and i'll catch you later